Yeah, we're back to the Nintendo haters to see it today. Okay, movie flops. Mario is not flopping. If you watched the videos yesterday, Mario movie is doing pretty well. Okay, it made twenty six million dollars, which on a Wednesday is pretty good. Okay, and it made around record numbers in Asian countries. Okay. It is going to make a lot of money. That's why I just said it's just despite bad reviews. Nobody gives a crap about what the critics think. Okay. No one gives a crap about what the critics think. Okay. Yeah. And this movie is probably going to do pretty well over the month. As well. Okay. Yeah. But yeah. Next to no games is... Oh, yeah, they're releasing Zelda and Pikmin. Oh, yeah, next to no games. Yeah, there's no games. Nintendo's making no games. Also, we, we released Metroid Prime and made, we made Kirby Return to Dreamland, which I think apparently that game sold pretty well. Same thing with Metroid Prime. I think both games sold pretty well. And they also released a Fire Emblem game, but again, nobody... Fire Emblem has a pretty nice fan base. And Advance Wars is finally coming out this month. Okay. And there's probably more to be announced. Oh, yeah, Nintendo's releasing no games. Rapidly losing sales to competitors. Well, the Nintendo Switch is an old console. The Switch has been around since 2017. And now the PS5 and Xbox Series X has had some heavy hitters. Not really many big games, but the Harry Potter games sold pretty well. And that was exclusively to the next generation of the consoles. Atomic Heart sold pretty well, and that was on the Xbox new consoles as well. Okay. Not really much about the Evil 4 remake, but... <laughs> you know... The next gen consoles are finally selling because they finally have games that are worth buying. Okay, both the Xbox and PlayStation. They finally have games worth buying on both consoles. Okay. Look at VZ Tots. If you go on VZ Tots, you have PlayStation 5 at 33 million consoles and Xbox at around 20.86 million as well. Xbox, most of its sales are from America. As well. PlayStation is selling because of the Harry Potter game that they released. You know. Honestly that game has been a big hit for Sony. As well. And that game's not coming out to the Switch until July. Also it's on the Xbox as well. But again. Xbox really needs to pick up the slack when it comes to games that are worth buying. Because they're going to fall behind Sony really quickly. But. Xbox is doing pretty well during the holidays. I think the only reason why the PlayStation is selling so well is because of Harry Potter. The Harry Potter game. Okay, the Harry Potter game released. Okay, because Forspoken is not made selling PS5s. We all know this. Forspoken is not selling PS5s. It's Harry Potter, Hogwarts Legacy that's selling the consoles. So, and I wonder if it has any exclusive content. Okay. But yeah, the Harry Potter game is the reason why the PlayStation is selling so much, okay? Xbox had a game last month, and apparently that game isn't doing that well. Be, uh, well, isn't doing well enough to sell Xbox consoles. But again, the Harry Potter game is selling so well that it's selling PlayStation consoles, okay? A million people bought a PlayStation just to play Harry Potter, okay? I'm just wondering, does that like, have any exclusive content or anything? Okay. It does. It, have, it has a place that's an exclusive thing. Okay. As plays as an exclusive content, which is probably why the PS5 sold so much. Because even if, like, even on PC, you know, you can't play it. It can only be played on the PlayStation 5. So that's probably why the PlayStation version is selling so much. Compared to every other version. So yeah, PlayStation is selling always so much because of Harry Potter. Okay. Because really nothing came out last month. Okay. Look at the game schedule. You had nothing. It was really a pretty slow month. But again, Harry Potter was still selling pretty well. Okay. This month we had the Star Wars game coming out. I don't know how. I don't know if that. I don't know if that game has exclusive. Con you know, content. Again, I don't really pay too much attention to game releases. But yeah, PlayStation sold a lot of consoles in February because of Harry Potter. 
Okay, April, you have, uh, what's coming out in April? Uh, you have the Star Wars game that was delayed. Uh, DLC for Horizon Forbidden West. <laughs> Evil Dead, the game. And Star Wars Jedi Survivor is coming out. And Resident Evil 4 Remake, I think, came out. Resident Evil 4 Remake came out, like, last month. Yeah, I think that came out last month, and I don't think anyone bought it. <laughs> I think the fanboys of Harry, of Resident Evil went to buy it, but other than that, no one went to go buy the game. But yeah, the PlayStation is actually getting, like, actual next-gen games that are worth playing, except for the Xbox console. And yeah, Nintendo's either going to have to release games that people are going to want to buy, like Zelda and Pikmin, or they're going to have to release a new console to compete with the next generation of consoles. That's basically what that's what basically what Nintendo has to do. Okay, Nintendo the Switch is an old console. Okay, the Switch has been dominating the console sales for years now. And now the other consoles are finally catching up to Nintendo. Okay. Nintendo Switch has always sold 120 million copies. PlayStation 5 has sold 43 million copies. Okay. As well. Okay. And yeah, the PlayStation 5 has a lot of sales because of the Harry Potter game they released. The Hogwarts Legacy as well. But again, Microsoft has some games coming out, okay? And yeah, I suppose that this video here. Goodbye.